Can't go in the can't go in the boat room. It can go in it, it can go over it, it can go under it. Where will it go? Where can we put the track? Can't go can it go in the cloak room? Cloak room? Behind the boards? Yes. Yes. We'll have to check with Steph. <laughs> no, fuck it. We'll Did you see those boards? So tell us about Glyn and Amy then. You said the whole group work really hard, but Yeah, they're doing their acts and everything else. They're good. Well, I don't know whether they're professionals or semi. Are you semi professionals or professionals? Oh, absolute cheeky bitch. We are professionals and we'll have nothing else said, okay? okay? She may have told me everything we knew, I, I, but. I'll take semi professional. Yeah, we've moved on. She turned up today in her, in her what we call the clothes you came in. Day wear, in her day wear. And I was like, help yourself to the sink pink drag. So she found, we've got, oh, sorry, got things. We've got a little lacy one piece and a little white cross skirt. And a Virgin Mary outfit from our Blue. sentimental from last year, and it's got some XO love written in blood on the back. <laughs> We're about to open. I've got to come back. Sorry. I'll up in this place. Love the way you drop it, yeah, deliver that bass. Hit it, sort of heavy, yeah, I'll up in my face. Come on, baby, go hard. It's such a mad place, the Bethnal Green Working Men's Club. Because it still is a working men's club. <laughs> it's just often these really weird clashes on the stairs with like be jock strapped transvestites and sort of like family of eight. I think it's kind of like um, a living John Waters movie. And people really respond to that and love the fun of it. But I don't think you can just walk into it either. You know, you've got to have something special. Being a dedicated, semi-retarded tranny is probably like the ideal mix to be like footing the pink. People still think one of our performances could be you take a poo in the stage and, and throw some glitter on it and that's an art piece. I want to show people that Sing the Pink's not all about that, that we can actually put a full-on production show together and it look tight. Glenn and Amy, they're always kind and they always look after the girls. I seen Glenn a few weeks ago and like I, as I have been for the past few weeks struggling because I've had no work, just him buying me two bottles of Prosecco was the nicest thing in the whole entire world right then. I've been partying in London for maybe eight or nine years now on the kind of East London alternative gay scene and I think the pink seems to have brought a new lease of life and a new bunch of people who are ready to experiment and go wild and really kind of push the boundaries. What's a really interesting thing right now is that it's this passing over from counterculture to a more mainstream thing. Yeah, no, it's not as underground or as, as niche as Paris as Burning was and things like that, but also at the same time, my friends aren't being murdered, you know. We're still never going to be those American drag queens that would, like, really go for the femininity, really go for this sort of, like, poise and, and elegance and looking this term they use, which I don't really like very much, is fishy. It's still not going to be that so much in, in Sink the Pink. If there's one or two characters like that, you say, yes, you look like an amazing woman, and that's, that's fab, we support you on that. But I look like a sort of homeless parrot. <laughs> that's my version of drag, and we support that as well. My name's Julian Smith, um, that's the name I go by in the week, but at the weekends mostly I'm Jackie Potato. I used to be a fashion designer, like, um, and like have my own label, 
but um, I sort of started to get a bit annoyed that I'm making these dresses that are supposed to be really expensive for really posh women who've got loads of money. And I just thought, I don't know those women and I don't care about them as well. And I just want to start wearing my creations or my ideas about women's fashion. Now my main skill is pattern cutting. I used to do it for Roland Murray and now for Erdem. Doing drag has a creative aspect, but I can be sort of quite destructive and quite sort of nihilistic at times as well. So it can have a bit of a knock-on effect in terms of boys, like, because they just think, oh, I don't want to go with Jackie, she's mental. <laughs> it's a really interesting one with my parents because of Facebook. People only put up the shocking pictures of Jackie, you know, there is no nice, nor normal, pictures of me just like, here I am, woke up in the morning, or here I am eating a dinner. You know, it's none of that. It's me with my legs in the air wearing a jock strap on the street at 7 a.m. outside a club. My dad, very, very sweetly, is supportive in, in this. I know that he's supportive, but at the same time, he can't handle it, really. <laughs> you know, he doesn't really want to see the images of me in dresses and things like that, and he doesn't really want to know about the drinking and the partying. English people as well can be a bit like, just sweep it under the carpet, let's not bother that, you know? Sink the Pink have started to sort of realise that they're going to have to do things outside of the Bethnal Green Working Men's Club because it's getting very big and it's getting very popular. It's just great to have a, an, an, another excuse for a big party, really. But this one's big, much bigger. It's mostly us doing routines, and I think they've got some <laughs> pop stars booked for it as well. It's a huge, huge venue with so many people going. And it's not just gay people going. There are loads of straight people, I'm sure, going. It's kind of a move towards that polysexual crowd that it used to be called. Uh, before, but thankfully no one uses that term anymore. Have we got time check? By any chance? Uh, yeah, it is. Five to nine. Five to nine, so I'm five minutes away, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of minor traumas. It's all right now. I actually cried at one point. Did just added trauma, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a drama queen. We both cried Cause all I just, day. Because I've you been planning it for so long, I just wanted it to feel perfect. And that that point wasn't perfect. Amy, I'm going to go up and see the girls now. I want to go and I feel like I need a bit of excitement from them. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of a tranny brief at half nine before we go on at Can ten. Can we be in that? Yeah, you have yeah. to be in that. Yeah, everything's fine. Because we're just having a laugh. It's just sink the pink. Yeah. <laughs> and then you both have to work back to the And I just the middle, yeah. You guys go back to the same, same, same. Yeah. What happened with the last one? Yeah. 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 At uni. Small or five. Not uni, Cambridge. <laughs> Some people call it upcycling. I call it budget rejuvenation. <laughs> Where you find a piece on the high street or in a charity shop and you think that's got potential and then you jazz it up a bit more. So this is just a shit top. I won't tell you where I'm from. But I've added a little juicy jazzy on the bottom. You can see. These are my looks. So, so sort of a spectrum of nudes, black, and one slice of colour. Okay. Please rise.